All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're at Snoqualmie Falls. And right now we're at the Lower Falls Park, which is really interesting because when I used to come here, when I lived down here back in the 90s, there was nothing but a gravel parking lot up there. Now it's a full-blown park with restrooms and everything else. And you have to have a Discover Pass. So anyway, we're gonna go down here and we're gonna check this out. I guess these are examples of the penstocks coming down the hill. So that's the second, well, that's power plant number two, which is on the south side of the river. And it intake up there above the falls comes over here and then drops down here in the powerhouse. Powerhouse number one is over on the south side of the falls or the river and it's down in the ground. This hydro project was like one of the first up here in the Northwest and was built to, to service Seattle. The original one was. And then they added this later but yeah there's the uh let's see if we can get a good shot there's the river down there now back when back when it was just a gravel parking lot you would walk down over here and then you would walk on a boardwalk behind the powerhouse here over this direction so they've changed all this and they've added this so yeah back in the day you used to come back over here and run down They've upgraded this too, this powerhouse. They used to have old funky windows. And... So you can get to this park by Fish Hatchery Road just below the falls. So yeah, this used to be, uh, well, there was still a boardwalk out here, but it was pretty rickety. And they've since improved it. Here's the falls. And 
And there's where, over there, the outlet from Powerhouse One. And you used to be able to walk down a trail off of David Powell Road and come back in here on the other side. We checked it out, you can't do that anymore. One year, they had the uh, falls blocked off up there with a, because it was so much drought, they had it blocked off with a plywood dam and we're diverting all the water through the powerhouse. That was the year we called it the Snoqualmie Drip because it was just a little trickle coming over it. People were swimming up here in this hole. So. Now up in there, there used to be some tr some trestles for the railroad that used to run up from Issaquah up to Snoqualmie. And it ran out, it ran around, and ran right up to there. I don't know if you can see that. So that was years ago. Quit running in the early 70s. And when I used to, when they used to run the steam train, it, I don't know if it still does, but it would come down on the tracks on the back side of the falls over there and stop right up there so everybody could look down the valley. And one time when we were down here, we, we saw bolts in the rocks over there that they had used originally for when they built this thing. steel bolts. It's kind of cool to come out here in the winter time because when it's freezing all the mist freezes on everything and it looks like it's snowed up here in this bowl. Here we are up at the top at Snoqualmie Falls and park in the upper parking lot. It's free. So back when I was in high school in the late 70s and we would come here, this bridge wasn't here. There was no upper parking lot. That building was there and it was a little, well, you could get lunch basically, a lunch counter. And then over here where this fancy fancy hotel is now, there was just the restaurant, just the dining room. People I knew, high school kids, would work at the Snoqualmie Falls restaurant and they were famous for pouring their syrup, like lifting it up real high and pouring it to represent the falls. It was kind of cheesy, but it was a thing they did. Anyway, so there it is, there's the falls. Yep. And it's not running real strong. So, and there's the, looks like they're working on the restaurant and the lodge. Salish Lodge and Spa. Okay, so over there you can see one of the trestles is still there. And we tried going over here to the other side. But you have to ride the train. They still take the train over there. 
the the train excursion out of Snoqualmie. And they had a gate over there and you can't get past it, so. But you could come, you can ride the train and they still go over there and stop. But yeah, there's the trestle. There's another one around the corner and then there's a third one somewhere in there. That way down there is Fall City. And up that way is Snoqualmie Ridge. That brick building down there is the top of Powerhouse One. And I believe those buildings over there might be original quarters for the, for the uh, people that worked at the Powerhouse. Don't quote me on that. They have a nice little park in here, and there's areas where there's picnic tables. And you can have a picnic. And then off over here is a trail that goes down to the Lower Falls Park. I wonder if these spots are worn from cavitation. Might be, I don't know. changed. There it is. So, in the winter time, this is all full of artificial snow for lack of a better description because the rivers run in a lot higher and there's tons of mist that comes up here and usually in the winter time all the walks around here are sopping wet from the mist but when it's freezing it sticks to everything now there used to be an observation covered observation platform that stuck out here and it's gone now There's a better shot of powerhouse number one. And just beyond the corner over there, around the corner that we can't see is the intake. And so deep down inside there is the actual powerhouse. And there's the discharge down there. And so intake for powerhouse number two, which is on this north side, is on this side of the river and goes down through these rocks. So right up there where that 
weir thing is, a line where the concrete stops, is where they built that plywood dam back years ago when there was a severe drought. And this thing was left to just be a trickle. And that's, like I said, when we called it Snoqualmie Drip. So yeah, that's Snoqualmie Falls. So right down here, below us, which you can't really see, down there is where Lower Falls Observation Boardwalk ends. Here's a good shot. But that's what I want to know. Like, that's yeah. Awesome. Uh, that is very helpful. So yeah, you can see where the intake for Powerhouse 2. And you can see the intake. And then it goes straight down. And that's where it discharges. See, here's a picture before they built the park and built the walkway behind it. You can see the, what it used to look like down there. Well, here's the railroad tracks. On the other side of the gate, inside of the gate that they keep closed. And they still run the train down here and around the corner and it stops and overlooks the valley and there's also fencing down there and the, basically they got to fence it off because of Puget Power's hydro project. They don't want people in here. So this is the museum and they were telling me that this is a machine shop and carpenter shop is what it used to be. And it used to be down, down that way on the other side and they moved it here. So it could be outside the perimeter. And this, is their little depot. And there's what the building was, looked like. There's a nice cedar tree. So, they built this here. This is more to the museum. Looks like a documentation trail here.
we've made it so that those both are very fish friendly places here. Then the other thing, we discovered the stranding of juvenile fish from transferring water between the units. So we installed bypass valves to allow us to have continuity of water flow so that the fish can be stranded. Then I thought that this day, okay, we can be able to fix it. In addition, we This is pretty cool that they printed on shades some pictures. So this is generator that was down inside plant one that they disassembled. That's the generator and that's the water wheel and this is all cut away so you can see inside. And then they have that opened up right there so you can see the bearing space. I think they have a phone app you can download that tells you all about all these different spots here. So.
So there you go. That's a quick tour of Snoqualmie Falls. Thanks for watching.